I'm Chris Trot, Trotty Golf. This full swing kit gives you 16 data points. But how do we know what each piece of data means? We well, are going to follow along and we're going to explain it to you in this video. Let's talk face angle when it comes to what that means for you, the golfer. Remember, once again, negative is going to be for the right-handed golfer, the left side, and a positive number is going to be the right side. So I'm going to give you an extreme now for a moment. We're down breeze here, but imagine I want to hit one with a really open club face and just see if I can move this golf ball from left to right, maybe give it a bit more height. Got my kit set up with just that one number that's all I'm focusing on as a golfer and let's get this blade really open so a high golf shot down our target line cuts off to the right all I asked for was blade open it was the only number that I wanted to see I use the iPhone to look at my data but again if you don't have this with you you can just literally go off the machine and it's screaming out to me two degrees to the right so it's a positive number now how do I impact that as the player? How do I change it? There's certain things you've got to do. A golf coach might be looking at this with you. It's actually something I'm working on myself right now is to really try and feel the golf club in the downswing, change my wrist positions a little bit because that then obviously impacts the blade here, the face. This is what I want to try and change as I hit this golf shot. So a good practice drill for me, if I want to hit a little draw down there, draw shot defined as starts down the right and turns over, it will come off with less spin. We'll get into that later. It will change the path. You can watch a video on that to but just moving the draw setting myself up down the right now I literally am going to get face angle hopefully closed to my path number but let's see if I can actually get it on a negative as well so this one could actually be a hook let's see a hook is a large right to left movement and just turn it over ball goes out comes up with that nice flight peaks out draws and moves back right to left looking down how did I do face angle there was still slightly open but it was different to the path which created that draw so you can see as we build this now the numbers and you want to work on that maybe I want to get one more shot than that and you have to feel as a player how much do you have to move it but numbers work together to give you different shots understand that as you look at these details really as a golfer you're trying to move stuff but numbers do work in conjunction to give you the perfect golf shots. And that's often what we look at on tour when we're fitting or when someone is giving you a golf lesson. So one more with a deep left face. Ball flight doesn't get up because I'm delivering less loft. Now we've got that face more hooded. Let's see if we got it close to where it was. It's similar, but the ball flight came down and drew on me. And that's what you want to do as a golfer here. You want to really work to understand what do you need to do as the golfer in order to get this blade closed and work those positions? So came off left much lower because I'm presenting less loft now and that should give us a negative three. So think about it. If you're presented with a situation where you really want to move a golf ball under a tree, round a tree, past a hazard, you've got to hit a hook. You need to know how to manipulate your wrist settings and positions in order to manipulate your face angle. It's a good thing to know, especially in conjunction with some of the other tiles and other data that's gonna be in your full swing kit. 